All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today on this Wednesday, July 7th, 2021? Thank you for joining me here tonight once again for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Bringing you the best in metal-related content right here on YouTube on one of the only metal channels you need. If you missed anything in the past week, click that eye in the upper right corner of the screen. Get caught up on all the latest videos. I'd certainly appreciate it. If you want me to subscribe, if you want me to review anything, make suggestions in the comments section below. No slam. Deathcore, Metalcore, or Modern Tech Death. I don't enjoy the genres. Remember to subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss anything. You're looking at one of the hardest working metal channels here on the platform, and no one's going to give it to you quite like I do here on Music of Destruction. Welcome to Album Ranking Wednesdays here on the channel. Tonight we're going deep into the underground of Australia to talk about one of the most legendary bands in the Australian extreme metal scene with Portal. Now, Portal are easily among one of my favorite bands and their unique blend of different styles of extreme metal combined with horrifying experimentation and soundscapes and album themes make them one of the most unique bands in existence. So before we get into the ranking, I'm going to give you guys some background history on Portal. Now Portal formed back in 1994 in Queensland, Brisbane, Australia. And Portal is an extreme Australian extreme metal band whose style is an unorthodox fusion of death metal, black metal, avant-garde metal, and dark ambient and experimental music. Now, the band's hybrid musical style is characterized by heavily distorted guitar riffs, down-tuned rhythms and vocals, ranging from menacing echoing sound effects to death grunts. Adrian Begran noted that death metal always pretends to be scary, but it's all rather harmless. That said, however, I make no mistake in saying that the death metal peddled by Australia's Portal is truly fucking terrifying. Lead guitarist Horror Elogium has described Portal's intent as to capture a cinematic horror scope with psychedelic nightmarish overtones. Now they've released seven full-length albums to date as well as a number of EPs and split releases. Now their most recent albums, Avow and Hagbulbia, were released in 2021 on Profound Lore Records. Now when asked if Portal's exploration of extreme music could eventually move beyond the scope of death metal, Horror Elogium responded that Portal explores depth and atmospheres in the aim of a descriptive soundscape. The term extreme would not really apply to us in the context that other bands would use. The fastest blast beat or the most technical guitar work. That kind of mind frame as though it's a sport is truly sickening to us. Extreme for the sake of extreme in any regard has no place in our art. The feeling must flow, exploring different planes of darkness and atmosphere, and there is no interest in taking the main core of Portal beyond metal at all. In fact, we don't feel as though this form of death metal has reached its greatest potential yet. Then there's of course the anonymity of the musicians themselves. The band members keep their identities obscured and use stage names. Their costumes are composed of suits and executioner's masks, save for the vocalist The Curator who wears headgear fitting the theme of the latest album, such as a huge tattered wizard's hat that obscures his face in the case of Sepia. The idea for these costumes was developed by the curator and horror Elogium, who were inspired by the fashion of the 1920s and imagery created by actor Lon Chaney Sr. In a few of his roles from the silent film era, which, according to horror Elogium, was the ideal finger, figure that the band wanted to portray. The band's lead guitarist, Horror Elogium, remarked the anonymity has never been the modus operandi. It is the feeling we ourselves are subjected to. The costumes and stage names serve as vessels for our escape through the music. In an interview with underground media site Def Sparrow, Portal was interviewed entirely in character with the writer addressing them based on their anonymous personas. People have also complained about a lack of production quality, which I don't really get, and unrefined murky sound on Portal's albums. Now, Horror Elogium countered this and said the band spends considerable time consciously exploring different equipment for guitar tones with enough articulation as well as dirt and filth, stating that there's only so many frequencies that can share a space. He indicated that Portal's approach involved a striking balance to allow the instruments to spill forth and explode when necessary. This gives a more detailed soundscape and accentuates the impact and depth of certain sections of the music. Me, myself, I fucking hate clean production, as you guys know, so I love this raw, dirty style of Portal's music. Alright, so let's get into the ranking now, shall we? 
Coming in at number seven, Vex Avoid, released in 2013 on Profound Lore Records. This album was not very well received amongst fans. It is a good album, but my least favorite, but I still love how nightmarish and psychedelic this album is. It really takes you in different, into different corridors of madness and insanity, uh, as well as horror and cosmic themes and things like that. Great riffing on here, drums, bass work, vocals, truly terrifying. Uh, great album, number seven, Vex Avoid. Coming in at number six, Swarth. Released in 2009 on Profound Lore Records. This one was a bit more of a psychedelic album. There's still that horrifying aspect to it, but there's a lot of unique juxtaposing guitar textures, riffs, dissonance, and ambience going on on here. Great experimentation, very fast and frantic. A little bit slowed down in places, but still a fucking incredible Portal album number six, Swarth. Coming in at number five, Sepia, released in 2003 on Black Talon Media Productions. The debut album. Uh, a very good album, but would not see Portal exploding to where they are now in terms of experimentation. The Avant Garde and experimental elements were not as profound on this record. This is just straight terrifying, horrifying death metal, but there is still some of that experimentation that we would see on subsequent releases. Number five, Sepia. Or Sepia, sorry. Coming in at number four, Outre, released in 2007 on Profound Lore Records. This is a great album. Lots of that uh, experimentation, but also the brutality I talked about on the first three records I, I talked about here. Um, this one took a bit more of a different direction, got a lot more avant garde in places rather than super death metal y, but that death metal foundation still being intact on Outre. Great album, number four, Outre. Coming in at number three, Ion, released in 2018 on Profound Lore Records. One of their most thunderous, eclectic, psychedelic albums, as well as a lot more uh, terrifying and futuristic sounding. Wasn't as ancient sounding as some of their other recordings, but again, a great album. Ion has a lot of futuristic soundscapes going on here, almost like a post-apocalyptic nightmarish world that you inhabit while listening to this. I really enjoy Ion a lot. But it's, each of these albums is like a chapter in time of really crazy fucking, you know, just chaos. Essentially, Portal is the soundtrack to Universal Chaos, and Ion gets number three. Coming in at number two, Hegbalbia, released in 2021 on Profound Lore Records. Uh, this is a dark ambient release that accompanied Avow. This is truly terrifying shit. I cannot wait to get Hegbalbia and Avow and re review them both uh, in a two week span. This is some of the craziest, most twisted, horrifying dark ambient I've ever heard that is super fucking chaotic and violent and also has a bit of depression in it, but also a lot of black chaos as well. Hagbalbia gets number two. Coming in at number one, Avow, released in 2021 on Profound Lore Records. This album is the soundtrack to hell. Essentially, it is so dark, so chaotic, so out of order, so juxtaposing, uh, not structured at all. This is just pure sonic black fucking violent chaos of horror and terror and all the craziness in the universe as if the universe is just colliding and uh, engulfing in on itself. And that's exactly what this sounds like. This is an amazing fucking release and I cannot wait to do a full review of Avel because I didn't think they could top Ion, but they managed to do so with Hagbalbia and Avel, which are two of the best extreme albums in fucking history. And Portal, easily one of my favorite bands, number one, Avel. All right, so there you have it, another album ranking in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, subscribe, turn on the bell so you don't miss anything. Teespring store, teespring.com forward slash music dash of dash destruction. Go and check out all my merch. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel through Patreon, I just put up a new podcast, The Seed, episode 33, The History of Thrash Metal Part 3, my best podcast yet, very in-depth. This uh, Thrash Metal Part 1, 2, and 3, this series has been some of my best work. You're going to want to go listen to that if you want to know how Thrash Metal got started. There was nothing I missed in those podcasts. Patreon.com forward slash music of the structure. Pick the $5 tier. Your support keeps this channel going, as well as helping our brand new YouTube channel, Beyond the big screen with myself and Colton James, we're building the storage shed right now. We got the base that we're going to be filming some of that on the weekend, putting it up on the channel. We got a couple promos to put up on the channel, but here is a new promo we just made a couple weeks ago of what you can expect on Beyond the Big Screen.
And we are back. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Have an awesome night. We'll see you for Top 15 Thursdays. See you guys in the next video.